Hello guys, this is Ali Solanki and today in this video we'll be talking about how I created my own Shopify website for Imbuzi, our clothing brand. Now, previously we were using Dukan, which is another website builder to create our website, but now we've shifted over to Shopify. There are pros and cons for all the website builders out there. You can even use WordPress, you can use Wix, there are others as well. But over here we'll specifically be creating a website within just 10 minutes using Shopify. Now when you're creating your Shopify store, the first thing that you need is a name, right? So for that, we'll be using ChatGPT in order to generate names for us. Second thing is to go over to Shopify and check the pricing. Now Shopify websites will not cost you more than 20 rupees per month if you're just starting out. Now this will be valid for the next three months. So every month you'll have to pay 20 rupees. But after that, the pricing increases drastically. So as you can see, if you're from India, then uh, Shopify will cost you around 2000 rupees per month after the first three months. So yeah, it increases quite significantly and uh, you'd probably have to choose the Shopify for small business plan, which goes up to 7000 or even 8000 per month. Apart from this, you might also have to pay for plugins, which might be an additional cost depending on which type of plugins you're using. And you might also have to pay for the website themes that you might be using. For now, because Imbuzi is just starting off, we'll be going ahead with the 20 rupees per month option and uh, we wouldn't have to bother about it for the next three months. Now, once we have created our own account, the next step is to choose your theme and start adding your products. It's as simple as that. There is no complications whatsoever. So the first thing is to put up your store name. Now over here, we are using Imbuzi. So I'll just put it as Imbuzi. And after that, what you need to do is add images. How do you get these images? I'll also talk about those things here. The first way is to obviously shoot all of your products by yourself, uh, which is something that we've done with Imbuzi. First, we've produced our t-shirts, we've got our final products with us, and then we've used models in order to shoot them. However, the second method is to use mockups. Instead of having products made beforehand, you can also use mockups or already existing images of those products. This is something that you can do either using Canva, which is a very basic software and you do not have a lot of customizations over there, or you can even use Photoshop, which is a much more advanced version. I'll also be linking some resources to 3D mockups that you can use in order to put up your t-shirt designs without even having your products by yourself. Now, the next step is to also have your logo in place. For Imbuzi, we created our logo directly using Canva and Photoshop. Now, we did not spend a lot of time in thinking about the name, nor did we spend a lot of time on the logo. Once we had that in place, we directly started our own website. Now, once you have all of these things in place, let's start adding our products. Now, Shopify gives you a Dawn theme, which is a free theme that you can use. You can even use a paid theme of your choice. But over here, we want to get things rolling as fast as possible with a low budget. So that's why we'll just go ahead with the default theme and start adding our products. Now, when you name your products, make sure that it is SEO optimized and also add in a proper description along with it. The keywords that you use in the description will help you in ranking better on Google and help you increase your SEO score as well. Now, once you have your products in place, you can also add in a lot of different customizations to your website along with adding sections and containers. Now, this thing can be done easily using the customization method which is given on Shopify itself. Now over here, I won't be getting into the details of which buttons to press and what to do, but rather I'll give you an overview of what are the things that you need to keep in mind when you start doing these things. The first thing that you can do is add in an announcement bar, which is pretty self-explanatory and I won't get into the details of it, but you can even add in different elements along with that. You can add in a video, you can add in images. Over here in Imbuzi, we've added a product slider so you can do all of these things in order to make your website more attractive but are we done here no, this is just the beginning. Now you've created your own Shopify website. Yes, you can also host it on your own custom domain. You might have to buy it from GoDaddy or any of these other domain providers, but 
after that you need to set up marketing because how else would you get sales the first way to get sales without spending any money is to do its promotions on social media and other handles for example right now i'm wearing imbuzi's t-shirt which looks pretty great and you can buy it through imbuzi.in see what i did over here I just promoted my product right in front of you. So this is something that you can do on your social media handles and keep creating content around your products. This way it will help you boost sales as well as generate traffic on your website. But the most important thing is to set up ads, right? So most of the clothing brands or most of the brands that you see have sales because they are running really good ads and they have good digital marketing presence. So how do you set all of these things up? Well, Shopify provides you a direct solution in order to integrate Shopify with Facebook ads, Google ads and all of those things. Okay, so with all of these things, you might be getting traffic on your website, but until and unless you're able to convert that traffic into your customers and make them buy your products, you won't be getting that cash. So how do you do that? You have to optimize your website in order to make sure that the conversion rate is also high enough. You do this by upselling. You do this by making sure that the customers have enough options in order to choose from. And there are a bunch of different ways in which you can do so. Upselling basically means that say, for example, a person buys a 1000 rupee t-shirt from your website. You then show them an option of adding one more t-shirt, which might be of 2000 rupees to their customers and maybe even give them a discount on top of their entire cart. This way, a person who was just going to spend 1000 rupees on your website is now spending over 3000 rupees. Now, when we started spending money on ads with Imbuzi, the first thing that we noticed was we were getting a lot of traffic, right? Our website traffic just shot up, but then the purchases or the sales were not going up significantly. This is mainly due to not having an optimized website. Now we learned a lot of different things by working on Imbuzi as well as other e-commerce brands. And if you want me to create a website for you, then contact me through Metaris and I'd love to help you out in creating your own Shopify website or any of the websites that you want. Usually a good clothing brand has a conversion rate of around two to three percent. Our conversion rate in the start was close to one percent, which is quite low for a clothing brand. However, once we shifted over to Shopify, we added so many plugins. We made sure that we were upselling. We were adding in discounts. We were adding in other things as well. That's where we started to see our conversion rate go up as well. Of course, this also means that your ads are not reaching the right audience. They are coming on your website, but but not converting. So that means they're interested in your brand. They want to check out what you're doing, but they're not generally interested in buying your products. So how do you increase this conversion rate? The first thing that you can do is add in timers and create that FOMO feeling in order to make sure that people buy your products right now, because if they think that they can buy your products tomorrow also, that means they're never gonna buy it. So make sure to increase that FOMO by adding in timers, by adding in special discounts, flash discounts, and so on and so forth. That's the first thing that you need to make sure of. The second thing to do is to make sure that you're retargeting. Now retargeting basically means, say for example, if I come on your website and I really like your products, I go over to the product, I put it to add to cart, but then I forget to check out. Maybe I'm distracted, maybe someone called me and I just go out of your website. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that you reach out to these abandoned carts. You send out an email to them, maybe give some discounts in order to check out their entire cart. As for delivery of our products with Imbuzi, we use ShipRocket. Now ShipRocket is pretty much well reliable and in ShipRocket, there are a bunch of different delivery providers. Like you have Blue Dart, you have others as well. So that's why we use ShipRocket. We integrate it directly on our Shopify store. Once you have all of these things in place and have amazing products as well, you're set to kill the market.